Okay, now we're going to do chromatic intervals. These are major, minor, perfect, augmented, and diminished intervals. So this is all, uh, these are all the intervals we've covered up to this point, okay? Um, just to review, we're going to use major. We're going to use a big M for major, little m with a line over it for minor, big P for perfect, D-I-M for diminished, and capital A-U-G for augmented, okay? All right. Um, you should have a chart to refer to as far as all the half steps um, for all these intervals go. Uh, so please, please use that as I've given it to you. Um, let's work through this example, uh, diminished fifth. Okay, we've got a G to a D flat. And notice how it's one, two, three, four, five. The interval is a perfect fifth, or it would be if it weren't for the flat. So if the, if the note is five lines apart, it's going to be a diminished. And generally the rule is um, when you've got a flat and a top note, it will most likely be diminished um, in terms of that. If the top, if this were a sharp, it would be an augmented interval. Okay, so let's count up. G is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six half steps. Check that out. It's a diminished fifth. All right. Uh, refer to your chart for these next few, uh, for, for all of them actually. Um, let's go uh, with this one. We've got a C to a G sharp. Starting on C, C is zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight half steps. Eight half steps. If we look at our chart, we can see that that is an augmented fifth. A U G fifth. And this is how I'd like you to do it with the number of half steps below and the quality and the number. Quality and the number. Remember, the quality always comes first. Number two, we see a C and an E flat. Remember, we're in base step now. C is zero, one, two, three. Three half steps. Um, we can see that that is a minor. Third. Okay, um, remember to draw the line. Um, number three, we've got a D to a G. D to a G. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Five half steps. We know that five half steps is a perfect four. Perfect four. Okay? And again, this is all um, readily available through your. Uh, um, through your table that I gave you, okay? Uh, number four, we've got an E to a B sharp, E to a B sharp, so let's start on E, that's zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? Remember it's C or B sharp, eight half steps, okay? Now, um, if this were a an E to a C, we would have a different interval, but because it's written as an E to a B sharp, it's an interval of a fifth, and it's an augmented fifth because of the sharp. Okay, it's very important to understand that. Um, if this if this were a C, like if it were an E to a C, remember that it would be remember that it would be a minor six instead of an augmented fifth. But because it's an E to a to a B sharp, it's an augmented fifth. Okay. Let's look at the next uh, next line, number five. We've got a C to a B natural. C is zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven half steps. If we look at our chart, we can see that that is a major seven. Major seven. Okay. Um, let me take a minute to play all these the first five intervals for you, and then I'll keep it going after that. So number one is an augmented fifth, number one, augmented fifth. Number two is a minor third. Number three is a perfect four. Number four is an augmented fifth.
number five is a major seventh. Notice how crunchy that sounds. Okay, number six, and I will play uh, the rest of them from here on out. Number six, we've got an F to an A. So let's go on our keyboard, F to an A. F is zero, one, two, three, four. Four half steps. Okay. Um, then we can uh, we can look at our chart, and we notice that four half steps is a major third. Four half steps is a major third. Number seven, D to a G. D is zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five half steps. Look at our chart. Perfect four. Okay. Number eight is C to an A flat. C to an A flat. So let's find our C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight half steps. And because it's one, two, three, four, five, six lines apart, or six six staff systems apart, we know that it's a sixth, so we just have to figure out what kind of sixth it is. It looks like a minor sixth based on the chart. Okay? So the, these next, these next three, major third, number six, perfect fourth, number seven, and minor sixth, number eight. That's where we'll stop, and you can go ahead and do 9 through 24 on your own. Make sure you use your keyboard, and make sure you use your chart.